On this emergency episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the Core 45's aftermarket part that was accidentally buffed. Let's go try it out. So today, COD went ahead and pushed a balance update, and for whatever reason, they decided to increase the fire rate of the Core 45, so much so that they completely disabled the aftermarket part. But if you have the Quirk and Screw Blueprint, you can still equip the aftermarket part and use it in Zombies, Warzone, or Multiplayer. If you're not familiar with the Core's aftermarket part, basically what it does is it shoots a bullet for every time you pull and release the trigger. So now you can sit there and spam it, and the fire rate should go absolutely insane. As well as looking through the weapon stats in the menu, it says, this has 3,750 rounds per minute, just as long as my finger can keep up with uh, all those shots coming out. So I'm sure by the end of today's video, I'll have arthritis in my hand, but I'm wasting no time today. We've already tested out the core aftermarket part a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get it to pack three legendary. I'm throwing the mag holding on it right away. Getting on the dead wear detonators using all my perks and let's go ahead and go straight into tier three. So I don't know what's been going on with the core from what I could piece together on Twitter. It looks like like it's been kind of going crazy in Warzone. Like it's the starting pistol you get in Warzone. And they've been going back and forth on nerfing its fire rate. And then they just all of a sudden buffed it again today with no real change to the damage output. And for whatever reason, it just made the aftermarket parts fire rate go absolutely insane. So I'm hoping even though they disabled the aftermarket part and we could still equip it in zombies, that it still works with its unintended buffs. And that this thing's going to be a monster for today. Because I don't know how long it's going to stay in the game for. Because there was already an oversight for it to get this huge fire rate buff. And then there's another oversight with them leaving in a blueprint that still had the aftermarket part attachment on it. So I'm hoping today we can get a trial run with an absolutely busted weapon. And I was really debating using controller for this. Because I feel like I can shoot a bit faster on a controller. But... My aim is so bad on there, not even Deadshot can help me. So I thought we'd be better off if I stayed on keyboard and mouse. It's absolutely obliterating tier three zombies right now. I'm just trying to get a little bit more money, maybe even a self-revive from this challenge. That way I can go ahead and take on a bounty. You can really see what kind of damage this can do. There's a self-revive, perfect. Let's buy two more just to be safe. Look how fast just killed a fully armored tier three zombie. Like this aftermarket part's already pretty decent. Like it's already one of the better aftermarket parts in the game. And now it's just supposed to be absolutely busted. And there's no bounties in tier three, but is the Stormcaller still alive? We can try it out against him. Looks like he is. Somebody's pleading for help over there, but you're going to have to wait. We got to do some testing. Can we take him out fast? We already broke his mask. Ooh, look at that damage. No healing for you. I'm pretty low ammo, but that's okay. You know what? Insta-kill. Let's add to it. All right, zombies. Why don't you fork over some ammo? Thank you. Let's get back to work. Absolutely destroying them. Even though the insta-kill is definitely helping out, it still took them out extremely fast. That's ridiculous, dude. That was almost like Tom for level quick. There's still no bounties in tier three. All right, I'm itching to kill something. I'm gonna do a quick tier two bounty. All right, Disciple, it's your lucky day. You can be on the receiving end of 3,700 rounds per minute. Look how fast he's going down. That's insane. Please let me get a tier three bounty. I wanna smoke something. Here we go. Please give me an abomination. I want the hardest test you can give me. Oh, it's a disciple. We're only getting disciples today, it looks like. Well, we've already taken out two of you today. What's one more? Is this going to be even faster? No healing. Knock it off. Get that mask broken. I'm trying to click as fast as I possibly can. I really wish I had like a modded controller or something like back in the old Xbox 360 days. Get some rapid fire in here. Oh, okay. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but he just died. I'm just gonna say I did that. He didn't want any more of the smoke. Let's do another bounty. Give me that. Abomination, please. Thank you. What's going on, buddy? How's this doing against you? Why don't you give me a nice good old laser? Now we might not even need it, but I'll take it. There we go. Already got the head broke. Zombie, get out of my way. You don't want none of this. None of y'all want any of this. Go ahead. Try me again. That works. I'll take that. That should be another face down. Beautiful. Already at half health. Oh, where'd I go? You can't see shit. There you go. Nice little laser here to end it. We should be able to take him down right here. Maybe not. You cut the laser short. Come on. Open up. 
There you go. That's what we like to see. Now sit. Actually, don't even need you to open up. That would help, but not necessary. Let's start activating these obelisks. We got to bring this thing into the unstable rift now. Oh, wait. I think I figured out how to shoot as fast as possible. I just need to change up my grip a little bit. And look at this. Kind of crazy. I'm sure some people could get it to go even faster. This is what I'm at right now. That's one down. Two to go. Holy shit. We're getting this to go fast. 3,700 rounds per minute. It was not lying. You just need a fast finger. That's two. We just need one more. There's a lot of people with scorchers in this game, so I got to be quick to get to that rift. I'm going to be pissed if somebody takes it. Come on. All right, we're done. Anything good in there? Nope. There's a jug, actually, but I don't need it. There we go. Let's throw brain rot on this. Let's try to get to a shop and fill up the rest of our inventory with self revives. Let's vote yes. Buy the self revives. Drop these and some cashmeres. We're good. All right, let's see if the core is the first bullet weapon to carry me through the unstable rift. I'm gonna try not to use the scorcher except for movement and to get up to my spot up here. And I won't use it to kill any zombies unless it's like an absolute emergency. Like I have no ammo or the core is just not holding up anymore. So let's see if we can stay in this spot. Come on in zombies. Ooh, look how fast it takes them out. Beautiful. And with brain rot on this, we should have a few helpful little minions. What I'm really curious about is to see if we can actually take on those mimic HVTs once they start spawning in. Ooh. And I don't know how well we're surviving in this corner right now. If we didn't have that Aether Shroud, we would have been dead. Or that Molly. Like, the damage is there and the fire rate's there. It's got to be a me thing. I'm just not shooting fast enough. Ooh, let's not go down right there. That's actually starting to hurt my hand. I'm trying to click as fast as possible. Hold on. Maybe we're getting to the groove. Gotta keep a head level. Keep the zombies back. Okay. Lightning strike as I got hit. Oh, wait. We can still use it on the ground, too. But cannot be going down this early. Maybe I should have used controller. Maybe we'll just have to save this for the boss. Oh, what? What just knocked me? Hello? That's so lame. Did they increase the, the frequency of the thunder strikes? Oh, here comes our boss. Let's go introduce ourselves. Come on in, buddy. Oh, it's the, the mimic. Gotta love it. Let's throw a cashmere, keep the zombies away, and let's light them up. Ooh! That's some good damage right off the bat. Ooh, and I'm out of ammo. All right. Scorcher Claws is activated. We're gonna need some of that from you, zombies. Let's Aether Shroud right here. Try to get some more shots in. He's almost dead. Still pretty low on ammo, but he should die right here. Oh, let's not go down. Let's not risk it. Could have stayed in the pocket, but we would have taken a sack. Not the good kind. Oh, shit. I'm throwing. I'm actually throwing. Actually, you know what? We can shoot this while we're down, and if we kill him while we're down, we should get revived without having to use a self-revive. So this is all part of the plan. There we go. Beautiful. Last bullet, too. Actually, I had one more left. I had one in the chamber. Okay, but we're getting a little uh, wet and reckless over here. We need to calm down. We need to play way safer than we're playing. That's too many self-revives for the first phase. We're just getting warmed up. Okay, all right. I don't know why I keep trying this, but we're just taking way too much damage doing that. We're just gonna have to stall with the Scorcher and wait for the bosses. I'll save my ligaments the pain anyways. What the fuck? Oh, I see what's happening here. These hellhounds are sacrificing themselves, covering me in their fire. And the zombies won't go into the fire, so they're chucking their meat at me. Keep your meat to yourself. That's stupid. And our boss is taking a sweet time getting over here. Taking the scenic route. Let's Aether Shroud on him. You get some good shots in. Damn, still haven't broken his armor. This guy's bulky. Let's get a nice Scorcher shot on him. Switch weapons and light him up. Broke the helmet. Oh, the damage on this is crazy. Please let me kill you before you kill me. Don't throw meat at me. We don't need that. Okay, let's... let's Tactical retreat. Definitely not scared for my life. It's all just strategy. And then we make our way back up. Come on, get in sight. Let me see ya. Let me take a peek at you. Actually, since we can use this while we're down with the core, we can wait till he's low health. Get up close to him and we can still risk the down. 
If we can get ourselves back up, it don't matter. Like right here. We'll take that. As long as he stays in the sight, we can kill him. Let's go. Beautiful. Did you like that one, Mimic? Yeah, I bet you did. Bet you liked it too, huh? So far, so good. I think we got the strat down. And we can actually go down and use it to our advantage. We just gotta do it at the right time. Oh, is that an HVT Mimic? Finally, one shows up. He had to show up when I was out of Scorcher shots to hold the zombies back. Here we go. Mono y mono. Ooh. No. He didn't win that. I was just showing him uh, how fast I am. How fast I can get away. He's got to try a bit harder if he wants to take me down. All right, I'll give dude credit. He's got hands. But so do I. Come on. Go down. Thank you. And we brain ride the Mangler. Perfect. And we got boss number three coming in. Or is this four? Don't ask me anything math related ever. Oh, and this way is the Stormcaller. We've already dealt with you today. Dude wants round two. The Stormcaller is too scared to come over here. Come on. There he is. There's our guy. Can you get that mask broken on you? No. There it is. Let's throw a cashmere under him. And let's get up close and personal. Okay, that was a bad idea. Very bad idea. I regretted that immediately. We're still good. We didn't go down for it. We recognized our mistake and we got out. We have another Aether Shroud, so let's use it. He's kind of tweaking out right now. The perks are hitting extra hard. And we got a Scorcher for a second. Keep the zombies away. Give me another Aether Shroud, please. We got it. Let's use it again. Gonna have the Cashmere. Gonna have the Cashmere. Please don't die. Oh, shit. Come on. We got him to half health. We can do better than that. Where does he keep going? Get back over here. There you go. How'd you get more health? I know you didn't heal off me. And this one's taking longer than I thought. We're losing valuable time. And he keeps leaving the map. Get over here. Stop hiding from me. Oh, my Lanta. We had a nut hair of health. Barely got out of that. Here's what we're going to do. Mortar strike. Maybe thin the herd a bit. Another Aether Shroud. Let's use it. Stop flying away from me. You coward. Oh, damn, Mimic. Call me over the ledge. Oh, shit. I'm going down here. Wait. No, I'm not. Cashmere went off at the right time. We got him killed. He's dead. Let's go. Just took some persistence. A lot of it. That was a stressful phase. Come on. Just bring on the boss already. I can take him. Mimic should be much easier to kill. Mimic can't fly away on me or heal. He does have EMPs, which is kind of scary. It don't matter to me. Ooh! That's an HVT Mimic down super fast. Holy shit. Just need a little Aether Shroud and we can deal with them. There's our boss. Let's get set back up. Let's throw down a cluster mine. Actually, I think the EMP might take that away, but it's whatever. Shoot one of these. Let's Aether Shroud on him and light him up. Can't Aether Shroud because he EMP'd me. There we go. Why don't you face me? Does that stun do anything to you? Don't look like it. Oh, we're in a bad spot. That was a terrible jump. Nope, it worked out. It worked out so great. We're in the clear. Come on, jump up here. Oh, he EMP'd on the jump. Smart. He's pre-firing. Come on. You can take him out. Right here and right now. I'm sticking it. I'm staying in the pocket. Maybe that was a bad idea. He might have a little bit too much health for us to kill him while we're down. Especially with this HVT Mangler blocking all the bullets. Get the hell out of my way. Why don't you jump down? Why don't you do it? Oh, he's so close to dead. Please. Mangler, get the fuck out of the way. Oh, no way. He's fucking one shot weak on me. I can't believe this. Got him. Damn, I really wish we could have saved that self-revive. We still have a few, so it's not a huge deal, but 
Would have been nice to have the extra. Now we can set up for the fight of our lives. Put a sentry down there. We'll save a sentry for now. We can use it again later. Only eight minutes left. Still got plenty of time. Our boss should show up in maybe about two minutes. I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. We can't be far away. It just made a sound. Oh, there goes our sentry. So I'll throw a cluster mine down. Get our other sentry set up. And here's our boss. Come on over, pal. The water's fine. Oh, he's immediately spawning in his goons. Let's get some shots in on him. Rain rod of the Mimic. That's perfect. Great RNG. We already got some really good damage on him. Let's throw a nade. And now, if we can survive right here. Oh, uh, nope. That's all right. One self revive so far. Not bad for this round. Please be an insta kill or something. Max armor. That sucks. Let's well, Aether Shroud. Let's get some more damage in on him. We need to get that mass broken now. Otherwise, he's going to keep eating damage and healing when he can. Well, Aether Shroud again. Come on. How's that mass still not broken? Oh, no. I can't see shit. No way. All right, well, let's try to get some damage on him while we're down. Let's take advantage of these downs while we got them. You know, I have that many self revives. Maybe like two, three left. So you might as well try to clear out the horde while we're on the ground. We only got two bullets, so we got to revive. Let's grab some more. Aether Shroud on him. Let's get up and close and personal. Finally broke the mask. Now we can just lay it down the damage. He was, I think he was actively healing before he even started the move. That's lame. He's hacking. Oh, we only have a minute 30. Oh, shit. I have not been paying attention to the time. Okay. We got to lock in. We can't keep fucking around. Aether Shroud. Switch weapons, please. Oh, we wasted so much time. We need to switch again. And we need to fly away. Could not do it in time. But we can shoot him while we're down. Oh, he's out of sight. No, he's not. I thought he went over the railing. This is actually perfect. This is like a long aether shroud. I still don't think we're doing enough to take him out. He broke his posture, though. We're going to have to self-revive. Scorcher him once. Do we have another self-revive? I don't think we do. Oh, we have one more. We're going to have to risk it. He's got to stay in the pocket. Come on. This is it. No time left. But he's so close to dying. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Holy shit. Oh, you get an extra 15 minutes. Does the storm start moving in? It does. Okay, so now we figure out what happens when you run out of time. Oh, I cannot believe we killed him in the like last seconds there. That was so crazy. We clutched up and we kept ourselves revive. Holy shit. Whew. All right, let's get out of here. We made it out of there with nothing but the skin on our back and a full schematic reset. Let's go, dude. So overall thoughts on the Core 45 that was accidentally buffed. It's really good if you have a fast trigger finger. I apparently do not. I was getting it into some grooves sometimes where I was getting a lot of shots out really fast and it was doing some really great damage, but I don't think I could keep up all those shots without my hand just turning into a, a giant Charlie horse. Like it, it felt like it started cramping sitting there trying to shoot as fast as possible, but the damage is definitely there. And then you can take advantage of the going down strat if you really want to in the unstable rift. But we did have to lean on the scorcher a good amount. I still don't think there's a bullet weapon that can really survive the unstable rift. So I would recommend giving this a try while you can if you have the cork and screw blueprint. To my knowledge, that's the only way you can use it right now since it's technically removed from the game or like restricted. But if you got it, I would recommend bringing it in the game. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.